ordeal. It may be that we brought it upon ourselves. exists is not a guarantee that all will have access to it. It's something so obvious, and yet we did not understand it. There was little we did understand. We didn't know how to use the key to unlock our future. Feeling a little bit confused with the story and the setup so far, but it's been a while since I played the base game. However, I think you're kind of supposed to be a little bit confused. So let's go ahead, dig into it, and see what's going on. Before everything changed, March 31st, 2010, 1.30 p.m. Hello? Hey, Yukari-chan? It's me. Um, are you coming today? Oh, um, didn't you see the message I left on the board? I have cram school today. I know, but... I already left my stuff at the dorm. There's no need for me to be there in person, right? I suppose not, but are you sure? Yeah. I'm sure. Oh, sorry. Break's almost over. I gotta go. Tell everyone I said hi, okay? <sighs> Yukari-chan's not coming after all. Sonata-san said he'd be training at the gym, so I don't think he's coming either. Man, what is up with those two? This is the last day we have before the dorm closes down. With all our memories of this place, you'd think they want to see it off together, you know? It is what it is. Everyone deals with things in their own way. It's up to each of us to choose our own path from here. We can't deny them that. Yeah, I guess you're right. Besides, I can hardly blame them. Things have only been getting busier. If I didn't have to reclaim these, I may not have made it here myself. Guess it's finally time to say goodbye to our evokers. Kinda bums me out, but it's not like we got a use for them anymore. 
Let's see. Two, four. Oh, wait. How many are there supposed to be? I believe this is all of them. Huh? You had one too, I guess, son? That's right. You had his for safekeeping. <laughs> hey, come on. Let's not get all down in the dumps about it. I don't think he would have wanted to see us like this. Sorry, but you're right. We've already said our goodbyes. It's just... I can't help wondering... Why? There didn't seem to be anything wrong with him. It just looked like he fell asleep, didn't it? He must have used up the rest of his power to protect us... ...at the final battle. I don't think it's worth speculating on the reasons. The one thing I feel certain of... ...that he wouldn't have blamed any of us for what happened. Yeah... ...I chan's got that right, you know? I'm glad to see you're still hanging in there, Aegis. It really seemed like you cared about him more than anything in the world. I'm... ...somewhat surprised as well. It's possible I won't feel the full impact... ...until I'm settled back in at the lab tomorrow. Huh? The lab? Are you planning on commuting from there next semester? Oh, no, I... I guess is returning to the lab for good. She won't be enrolling as a third year. Well, seriously? Why? It's been fine this whole time, hasn't it? The decision was mine. I'm sorry I didn't mention it sooner. I enjoy being with you all. But it's time for me to find my own way of life. I feel like she got tired of us and just okay. kind of finding a polite timing to leave. You wish. <laughs> She's I like, nah, I'm good. Think of it as a new beginning for her. Anyway, we seem to have gotten off track, but I didn't mean for this to be a sad occasion. I've ordered top quality sushi for us all. Same as last time, actually. We may not have the full team with us, but let's have a nice dinner here tonight. Oh, that would be great. Top quality? I mean, uh, no objections here. You'll join in too, right, I guess? <laughs> She's like, yeah, I can't wait to eat sushi. Thanks for I thinking of me. I chance to spend more time with you all. The number of apathy syndrome cases is down from last month, which seems to mark an end to the strange illness. In spite of this, surveys have shown that the public's everyday stress levels remain high, according to an investigation by the Ministry of Health and Welfare. Wow, when did it get so late? It's almost midnight. It's hard to believe we passed the evening so quickly, even without doing anything in particular. I suppose it's because sitting here with you all brings me back to the time we spent together. I think I know what you mean. I have so many memories of this lounge that I find myself wanting to come back to it. It's the same for me. When I'm here, I can't help but reminisce on those days. And it's funny since, well, the things that happened back then weren't exactly pleasant. I get you on the past and all, but isn't there something still off about the present? I feel like everywhere I go, I see people goofing around like nothing else matters. It's like Strega's dumb ideas never got out of their heads, you know? I mean, is that the kind of world we almost died to protect? <laughs> wow, you've really grown up, Junpei-san. I don't need to hear that from you. It's out of our hands, I'm afraid. We may have prevented the fall, but there's only so much we can do to reform society. Yeah, I guess. But still. And that's all for the weather. At the tone, the time will be 12 a.m.
Nah, everything's fine out there. It's like just a bunch of coffins for some reason. Good evening. It is now March 31st. Here are the latest news reports. Huh? The 31st just ended, didn't it? Did the anchor miss? Okay, the so day? I'm not crazy. Jeez, man. Is that all it was? Oh, I guess even the news people screw up every once in a while. <laughs> really had me going there for a second. All right, so it seems like you're wearing some kind of Groundhog Weird. Day situation. My phone says it's the 31st, too. So, like, it's got to be a false alarm, yeah? That's a sensible assumption to make for now. But something felt off. Uh, it's getting late. We should probably call it a night. I know we wanted to say goodbye to the dorm with a bang, but not like this. Um, would it be all right if I return to my room? I have preparations to make for the move tomorrow. Oh, of course. Good night, I guess. Night. I'd best contact Yukari and Akihiko. Just in case. When I close my eyes... I remember the last moment I spent with him. The day he fell asleep. We brought him back to our dorm, fear beginning to well up within us. And the next morning, our fears became reality. He was lost to us. For some time after that, I fell into depression and began having the same dream night after night. A dream where I run after him calling his name, but he never catch up. When he was alive, I promised to protect him, and I made that my reason for living. But now, that promise can never be fulfilled. Then, one day, my sadness suddenly left me, as if a mysterious fog had lifted. I stopped dreaming, and I now no longer require sleep. I kind no of forgot use. that she needed sleep before sleep. then. I don't know why you can't sleep. I it's really such a comforting, relaxing room that she sleeps in. Huh? A butterfly? Huh? What's going on? Yes, the door is open. I guess, come quick, we need you. Has something happened? Are we under attack? It's hard to describe. The lobby floor suddenly opened up and... Anyway, we need to hurry to the lounge. Understood. Come to think of it, that day I stopped dreaming... That must have been when all this actually began. What's going on? Are you okay? Be careful, Igis. Whatever it is, it's not human. Just like me? You're... I guess. <sighs> Who are you? Why are you doing this? I'm Metis. I've come to protect you. Protect me? These people pose a threat to you. Therefore, I will eliminate them. What are you saying? I won't let you... 
you hurt them. Then I have no choice. I can't let you interfere. It's for your own good. Okay, first battle. Stand aside. I don't think I can do that. All right, let's start with the basic attack. If you back down, I won't hurt you. A persona. Okay, that wasn't too bad. How are you able to summon one too? I guess we'll try out our persona as well. Let's do Swift Strike. Okay, it seems like the persona definitely did a lot more. Came pretty close. What is optimal? Persona, oh, I forgot the abilities cost health. Don't resist. Okay, this I think we can finish result. this off. This is my and with one health On left, claim victory. Oh, You're stronger than I thought. So it's come to this. <gasps> Is that? Even this? I guess. I think I know where this is going. All threats must be eliminated. No! Oh, huh. I won't let this happen again! This is not my prediction. What? How on earth? Awakening to a new power, Aegis' persona Athena has metamorphosed, metamorphosed into Orpheus. Okay, my prediction, I thought we were going to watch everyone die, and then at the end of the day it loops back so we get a second chance, but uh, I went a bit of a different direction. It feels oddly comforting to see Igor again, which I never thought seeing Igor would make me say, oh, this feels comforting. <laughs> it seems your destiny is similar to mine. Where... where am I? Who are you? Ah, forgive my manners. Allow me to introduce myself. 
My name is Igor, and this is my assistant Elizabeth. We both reside here in the Velvet Room. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between mine and that. It is a room for those who have forged a contract. Yes. In awakening to the power of the wild card, you are now bound to a contract. Henceforth, you shall be our guest in the Velvet Room. Wild card? Surely you know that of which I speak. The ability to wield multiple personas and their powers. Until recently, a young man with the same talent was our guest here. Are you saying that you knew him? Indeed, I did. He achieved a marvelous thing. Finding the answer to life. The answer to life? The power you have gained is a means to attain that answer. If I were to find this answer, would it mean my death? All who live journey in search of the answer, and they find it at the journey's end. If you have close ties to people you call friends, remember this. Strength of heart, when united, is barred by no door. It was the same for that young man, and that is all I can tell you. <sighs> well then. I mustn't hold you here any longer. It would appear that an ordeal is about to unfold upon your return. That feeling again. I am certain you will require our help in the future. Please take this. All right, got a velvet key. It would be best if you came here of your own free will next time. Until then. Did he just uh, admit to kidnapping us? I once made a choice to live. So much has changed since then, myself included. If this new power is a sign that I'm drawing closer to life, does it mean that the answer at the end of the journey is death? I was surprised at the time, to discover how little the possibility bothered me. Oh wow, we really upgraded. Oh. I guess... I... <sighs> Glad to see you awake. You really scared us passing out like that. Yukari-san. Mitsuru-senpai asked me to come just in case, and I get caught up in something like this? Come on, seriously? I'm sorry for worrying you. Hmm? What's all this? While I was fixing your body, I added some additional equipment. We found Wait, how long were we out? Under the floor. There was no sign that you would wake up, so instead of waiting, we tried everything we could. I see. <sighs> Still sucks, though, getting bossed around by her like that. That girl told us, if you want to protect Igis, you should put that on her. Oh, she's still here? <laughs> hey, sounds like you've had a rough time. No worries here, though. She's on her best behavior now. <sighs> I guess she wasn't lying after all. Anyway, she can't cause any trouble now. We have our evokers this time. Man, why do you gotta bust things up like that? It's my turn to clean the place today. How about you quit it with a silent treatment and say something? Mm. Huh? Are you serious? You were sleeping all this time? 
Looking pretty comfy there. Guess you don't think of us humans as much of a threat, huh? It's just, I was tired after going into Orgia mode, so... Ah. Did you cooperate with them in order to help me? The reason I came here in the first place was to protect you. You don't need to restrain me. I won't attack anyone anymore. Why the sudden change of heart? You can't expect us to trust you without an explanation. Well, it's... It's because... I thought you wouldn't like me if I did. Huh? Let's release her. She's like, I, I won't believe you without her. a convincing reason. It's like, she has no intention of I think she did any believe further. her without a convincing Besides, reason. If she's really like me, then the restraints won't hold her anyway. Okay, that's a bit humbling. Seriously? And all those friggin' non-stop shifts were for nothing? First, tell us who you are and your purpose in being here. My name is Metis. As you can see, you and I are essentially sister units. In fact, you are the reason why I'm here. I've come to save you from this hopeless situation. A hopeless situation? Did something happen while I was asleep? Speaking of which, how long was I asleep? Since our battle ended, I'd say about a day and a half has passed. Oh, dang. Yet today is still March 31st. Tomorrow and all the days after it will also be March 31st. At this rate, it will last forever. Didn't you feel it? The moment time looped? Looped? Do you mean what we felt at midnight? Then, are you saying that the same day is repeating itself? <sighs> That's not all. We haven't been able to leave the dorm either. That makes two ways we're trapped here. What? But how could that... Both are we certain that we didn't die in the initial attack, the and now we're just us. in a, like, a Beetlejuice situation? The abyss of time? It's difficult to explain. It'd be easier to show you. I'll lead the way. Please, follow me. Hey! Who made you the boss? Okay, this is looking more similar to Beetlejuice than I was expecting it to be. This is the abyss of time. It's uncharted territory that I believe spreads underground, much like the roots of a tree. How could something like this have appeared under the lounge? At first, the abyss of time was just a small, self-contained space. But then one day, it started growing rapidly and eventually spread to your dorm. It's clear just by looking at it that this place wasn't man-made. It might be the product of some dangerous power, just like Tarnus was. Oh, sheesh. Haven't we had enough of that kind of stuff already? I'm not sure words alone can fully convey what's happening. But the flow of time here is abnormal. That's why time is looping. And why you can't leave the dorm. The only solution is to find a way to somehow eradicate the abyss of time. we supposed to do that i've already tried the simplest method that has the highest probability of success eliminating all of you the abyss How of comforting. time is linked to this storm as if drawn to it and for some reason you are the only ones who can perceive the time loop clearly there is a strong connection between all of you and what's happening so that's why you attacked to eliminate us the hell? We've never even heard of this place before. If there is another way, it can only be found by entering the abyss of time. You'll have to discover the cause and strike at its source. So you want us to investigate it under the assumption that we'll have to fight? That's
that's why I insisted on the extra equipment to protect Igis. Hold on. You're joking, right? Are you seriously telling us that we have to risk our lives again like we did with Tartarus? Never mind that. How are we supposed to just believe whatever you say and jump into that freaky place blind? Well, do you have a better plan? The basement of your dorm is an infinite abyss. Time is looping, and you can't reach the outside world. If we can't leave the dorm, how will we eat? We're stuck here long enough, and we run out of food. Are we going to starve to death? Yeah, the dog starts sweating. <laughs> current situation continues, things could get worse. This is your only option if you want to survive. Naturally, we all want to survive, but you attacked us the minute you saw us. You must understand that we can't simply entrust our lives to you. She says that, but we already I'm let her free and followed her into a base. You say you want to protect Igis, but what's in it for you? What's in it for me? I'm doing this because I care about her. I mean, she's all I have. About that, your story doesn't fit the facts. Igis was the last of her series. No other units were produced after her. But what about the four? Not talk of that. It bothers me that you talk like you've been in the abyss of time from the start. I thought this was supposed to be uncharted territory that was unconnected to the outside world until recently. Well, aren't you supposed to be an anti shadow weapon anyway? Attacking us humans to save Igus doesn't make sense. That's I, um, well, we're waiting. Hope you've got a good answer. You better not be thinking you can get away with pulling a fast one on us again. Enough about me. What good is knowing any of this anyway? Besides, haven't I already told you that there's no time to waste? Now follow me. Or are you giving up so soon? Because if you are, you should have just let me kill you in the first place. What did you just say? You're right. You may have no choice but to enter this place. But if you continue to act this way, we'll have to go on without you. Huh? Without me? <laughs> you couldn't possibly. You, you need me! I know the most about the abyss. I like how I guess it's just like, if you don't behave, we're gonna go into the time of abyss without you. It's just like, no, I'll be good, I'll be good. We all risk our lives for each other. If you think so little of my friends, then you can't come with us. No. Might suck, but if that's how you're gonna be, then we'll just leave you here by yourself. Uh, by myself? Oh, I'm not happy with that. If you'd rather be our enemy, then we can settle things right here. Uh, we don't have to go that far. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't be mad at me, I guess. I'll listen to you from now on. I will. So please don't leave me. <laughs> Look, even if you change your tune now, it's not like we're going to start trusting you. Still, though, maybe it's true that all she really wants is to protect Igis san. Well, Senpai, should we take her with us? Because if this is our only choice, I just want to hurry up and get it over with. Okay, everyone, listen up. It seems that once again, we must engage in both exploration and battle. I've been thinking it over, and I believe Igis should take command. If someone with the power to change personas is in charge, we can proceed the same way as before. And if you, as the leader, approve of it, then I have no objections to Metis accompanying us. Mitsuru-san. <laughs> if you want to protect me, you must fight to protect us all. Whatever happens, 
You can't hurt my friends. Can you promise me that? Yes! I promise! This better not come back to bite us in the ass. Hey, I guess. Since Mitsuru-senpai just mentioned it, what's up with you suddenly having his power? I... honestly don't know. And when I thought we might lose someone else, I got scared. And suddenly... Metis, was it? Do you know anything about this? I just met her. How would I know? Anyway, if you already know someone with that same power, why not just ask them? <sighs> Sensitive subjects. If we're going to end up fighting again, we better make sure we're outfitted properly. Well, as far as the school records are concerned, you and I are technically still Gekokan students. Yamagishi. Could I ask you to retrieve the armbands from the command room? Of course. Oh, and as for the things we found when the floor opened up, I put them in the command room. So I'll look into them once I have a chance. Maybe I can learn something. All right. Let's get back upstairs. Um, I guess... I, I promise to listen to what you say. So, could I call you my sister? <laughs> we went from almost killing each other to really bonding very quickly. Thank you, sister. The abyss of time, a strange and mysterious dimension that has suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Until we find the reason for its presence, we'll be unable to leave the dorm. We must begin looking into its depths at once. Every time I get geared up, my brain gets into this mindset like, time to get it done. <laughs> His yeah. mindset turns into Larry no, the Cable actually, Guy. I don't know. I'm just happy I get a match with my sister. I got all pouty the moment we changed clothes. Who would have thought she just wanted an armband? doesn't make you one of us, though. Still, it's a good thing you've got one on. This way, I can get a detailed read on your vitals. Orgia, Orgia mode. When Metis's Theurgy gauge is maxed, her Theurgy Orgia mode can be used. It's a lot of weird pronunciation words. Once Orgia mode is activated, Metis will automatically attack during your turn for three rounds unprompted. During Orgia mode, her attack and defense will increase significantly. Keep in mind that once Orgia mode ends, Metis will overheat, rendering her immobile for her next turn. So it sounds like the same thing as Igus. Didn't expect we would need them again. Well, is everyone ready to start exploring? Are we missing anything? I don't think so, but I've got a bad feeling about this. Junpei here might not, but what about the rest of you? Yeah, I can't put my finger on it. Something does feel off. Agreed. Something's not sitting quite right. Huh? I'm the only one hyped? Wait, hold on. I definitely feel something. I think? Maybe? Yamagishi, have there been any changes to our readings? Um, well... I don't know how to put this, but they're indicating that everyone's strength has weakened significantly, which may prove to be an impediment. Well, uh, is that, like, really bad for us? Is it because of that abyss of time? I guess we're too OP to start this DLC. Are you sure it's not simply because you're all weak? Oh, we're weak, are we? Save it for later, Akihiko. Not because of the abyss. Does it have something to do with us? We did take a step back from fighting for a while, so that's probably the biggest factor. More importantly, your persona's output is currently unstable, so their abilities are partially limited right now. Maybe we just forgot how to fight? Does muscle memory even go away? Not that it really matters. All we can do right now is work with what we've got. Oh, no, easy for you to say. I guess. We 
You're nervous too, aren't you? Let's say, you know, we'll be confident. Let's say he's right. It doesn't matter. Man, even I chance on Yukatan's side. You have nothing to worry about, sister. I'll be there for you. Well, now that we've established the situation at hand, I'd like to set expectations a bit before we head out. I should operate on my own to find out whether or not there's more to those materials we found underground. Flying solo, huh? I guess you are the only one who can identify that sort of thing, though. I'll regroup with everyone once I learn more. There's something else I want to look into as well, so it's more efficient for the team to progress without me there. Your objective is to see if the Abyss of Time connects to anywhere else besides the dorm. And since we don't know how much time this will take, it's imperative that we secure our supply routes. Oh, in that case, kinda seems like a job for Koromaru, don't it? I mean, he's sharper than a human. You know, with this sense of smell and all. <laughs> yeah? Your game, bud? I'm a little worried about us being weaker than usual, though. So, how about I come with you? <laughs> All right, I'll let the two of you handle that down. Iori, Koromaru, and I will go about our own tasks. Everyone else, follow Igus' command and focus on exploring. I'm counting on you, Igus. Let's say, leave it to me. That's what I like to hear. And you can count on me to bring back results, too. Let's head out once we've decided on our course of action. We want to make progress, then we better get to it. Okay, we can actually move around. All right, so first let's go ahead and check in on the entire team. Slacking off on training can impact both boxing and actual battles. It's too bad I've fallen out of practice. I'll have to work hard to get back to where I was before. Precisely. It doesn't seem as though this problem will simply resolve itself. We may have to fight. Don't worry. Wherever the cause may be, we'll overcome it. We've already saved the world once, after all. That said, I'll be investigating on my own for some time. I'll leave the rest of you- I'll leave the rest to you, I guess. So, um... I feel like it's not just my persona abilities that were affected. I can't handle my weapon as well as I used to, either. I guess battling is kind of like studying. You have to keep at it if you want to maintain a certain level of aptitude. So that abyss of time down there is what caused all of this, huh? Guess we'll have to go in and try to figure this all out. Sounds like no one has a clue what's really in there, but that's all the more reason to check it out. Hi! I guess there's something that I wanted to ask you. Is it possible that you can no longer activate Orgia mode? I, you know, let's try to figure out, get to the bottom of it, and ask would you happen to know why? Um... I thought something was off when I was backing you up in combat. As for what's causing it, well... It doesn't look like you're malfunctioning, but... How should I put it? It's almost as if you forgot how to activate Sorry. it. That sounds a bit silly. I can't understand what Koromaru-san is trying to say as well as I did before. It seems as though he wishes to head inside the abyss and explore, I think. Alright, here goes nothing! Kind of worried about what could happen in there, but Koromaru and I will go check things out. Leave finding supplies to us. You just concentrate on exploring, Aishan. Can we use the computer? Like, send out a help message? There's the computer here, but there's no need to use it now. I feel like there's a hundred reasons to use it now. But alright, let's go ahead. Oh wait, we almost forgot. Let's check in with Metis. Excuse me. Um, did you need me to explain anything? Let's see if there's any additional info about the Abyss of Time. I, think... I believe the Abyss has spread beneath us, like the roots of a tree. Basically, it branches out in various directions, going deeper and deeper down. And the area right below us is the Desert of Doors. Each door there seems to lead to a different place. We should be able to use them to tra traverse to other areas. Excuse me. And then let's check on her abilities. So you see. The weapon I wield is different from yours. It's a heavy melee weapon with some range. My persona's name is Psyche. Unlike you, I can only summon one persona, but I don't lack for sheer strength and determination. Alright. Seems like we've learned everything we can. Let's go ahead and save first. And then we'll go ahead and start exploring. 
Are you ready to start exploring? I mean, that's kind of what I just said. Okay, I'll let the others know. start our exploration here then not like we have much else to go on couldn't hurt to pursue anything suspicious all right then i'll leave this to you be careful in there all right let's check in with the team one last time kora mari-san certainly seems to be in high spirits okay let me and Koromaru take care of this. We'll find a supply route in no time. Seriously, you can rest easy with this on the case, Aishan. Just focus on exploring. I'm used to the speech bubbles tr like turning gray once they they don't have anything new to say. Let's get this over with quick. What do you say? I mean, I don't know who all can go with me right now, so let's go ahead and take every anyone we can. Um. I'm with you, I guess, son. Hope up I'll be of help. Hi. I'll support you all from here. Now, is there anything I can do for you? Um... Let's see. You're about to start exploring, right? Let's proceed slowly but surely. Anything else? We may be separated for some time. There's no knowing what will happen, so, ex so exercise caution, I guess. Yes. Let's move out. Looks like there will be too many of us. Who should I switch with? I... Uh, I guess we'll leave Yukari back. You won't regret this. Oh, I'm not coming with you this time? No, 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 let me... Well, let's let's keep the killer robot with us. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and check the velvet room. See if there's anything that we should take with us or do before we head in. Welcome. I have been anticipating your arrival. The time has come for you to wield your power. My role is to create new personas. By merging multiple Persona cards together, they can be reborn into a new form. One could call it a fusion of Personas. <laughs> there is much hidden potential within your Persona abilities. We're pleased to have another guest who shows as much promise. Oh, yes! If you wish to learn more about fusing Personas in greater detail, then come talk to me so that I may give you some hints. I will assist you to the best of my ability. You can borrow Igor's power to fuse new Personas in the Velvet Room. Fusing personas is crucial in overpowering enemy shadows. First, try fusing personas in your possession. The following Velvet Room tutorials have been unlocked. Persona Fusion Skill Inheritance and Persona Compendium. Good day. Oh my, you appear to have gained a new power. I believe you called it the Urgy? Now that you've become even stronger, you should be able to battle more efficiently and exquisitely with your multiple personas. As you acquire more personas to fill the compendium, you'll open your mind to new battle strategies. Very well. I shall inform you when more combinations are available in the Persona Compendium. How may I assist you? Alright, I don't think we really have any Personas to fuse, but let's see what we can do. When summoning from the Compendium, you now have the option to use the one carried over from the main story. Press right trigger to switch between the two Compendiums. Summoning from the carried over Compendium will cost more than usual. You must also be at the same level or higher than the desired Persona. Please choose the person. Alright, so we only have Orpheus like at the moment. Please and then summon. Look. I don't think I'm gonna really use this at all, because like at least not the the one from the main game. I feel like that's just gonna really break the the skill balance. So yeah, we're just gonna stick with what we've like Earth unlocked in this. But for now, let's not summon anything. We'll go into the explore the time of abyss or the abyss of time and see what we can find. Are you finished? All right, I think we're good. well. Let's see what we can talk about. Oh, okay, it's just tutorials. How may I assist you? We All right, I think we're good for now. So I think I'll save one last time before I go into the unknown, and then we'll walk through that door. Although, can we go through these? The door is tightly sealed. The door is tightly sealed. Let me guess. The door is tightly sealed. Called it. 
All right, let's go through the only door that has a light on. That dark figure from before, it went in here, right? You don't think that was... Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to get carried away. This appears to be the first door. I wonder what we'll find inside. Well, if we don't go through it, then we can't do anything about the current situation. I suppose we have no choice but to enter. Are you ready? I'll do my best to support you. I mean, what are we gonna do? Just stay here the whole DLC? Feels like an ordinary building inside. I'm going to take a quick look. Could it be? These readings. Oh no. Shadows. Be careful, everyone. I'm sensing multiple shadows inside. Everyone, assume your battle positions. Okay, looks like a pretty nice place for a, a desert inside of a basement. There's a shadow directly ahead of you, though it doesn't seem to have noticed you yet. I guess, since you're equipped with firearms, I bet you can shoot them from afar. If there's enough distance between you and the shadow, then I don't think they'll notice you. How about giving it a try? You can fire by pressing X while exploring to hit an enemy. Doing so will start combat. Striking the enemy from behind will, tr will trigger a chance encounter, where you have the advantage at the start of combat. If the enemy attacks you first, a pinch encounter will occur, placing you at a disadvantage. Although you can fire at enemies from afar, the sound may attract other foes. Try to quickly initiate chance encounters to gain the upper hand for easy victories. When Igus fires one of her weapons, an enemy a certain distance in front of her will be automatically targeted. An auto-target unit will be indicated with the target mark. It will have greater precision when firing at these enemies. Okay, I don't see it yet. There we go. Alright, off to a good start. So, as usual, we're going to go ahead and just test their weaknesses, see what we can find. Alright, not that. Oh yeah, what's her abilities? So, medium strike damage, medium slash damage, ice, raise allies attack, nullify stat buffs for all her foes. Bit of an important specification there. I guess let's try Slash and see what happens. Okay. Oh, huh. I guess has fire. Oh, I guess from Orpheus. That makes sense. Alright. Would have been useful to do that from the start, but... At least now we know. go ahead. I mean, we could use more personas, but I think we'll have plenty of opportunities moving forward. Let's go ahead and take the XP. Okay, I thought another enemy was spawning as, like, pretty quick re uh, respawn rate. Anyways, okay. I didn't think you could go through there, but then on the map, it looks like you could. It looks like a doorway, but... Guess we can't climb up those stairs that kind of look like blocks. Or the blocks that look like stairs. Okay. Found out their weakness pretty quick. Not too difficult so far. And this time, let's go ahead and we'll take High Pixie. <laughs> it's all over. Let's see what's up with this. This might be a way oh, okay. forward. What's the plan? I mean it looks very nefarious, but I guess we're just gonna go ahead and jump to the pit whenever we're ready to move on. I'm a little disappointed you can't just shoot his chest and get whatever's inside. Oh yeah, I forgot you can run. Alright, let's go into this very sinister looking pit. 
It's as I feared. This place is just like Tartarus. And that thing we saw earlier. I have a bad feeling about this. Please proceed with caution. Let's stick together, sister. It is kind of nice just being able to do ranged attacks on enemies and different like resources down here. I feel like his weakness is win. I don't know if that's really going to be an option with the team that we currently have. But it is nice that playing the DLC, it seems like our party is already decently powerful. Like everyone has like 100 mana and stuff like that. That's not like use Fufu twice and then you're like, oh, I guess I need to get some MP restoration items. Uh, I wish I had an, a, a fire attack that hits all of them. What is optimal? Yeah, I, I was like, maybe I'll take out one of them with basic attacks and then do fire for the rest, but 9 and SP for this whole battle, I think we can afford that. Yeah, we've been playing for a bit, so I think I'll finish this floor, and then give my first impressions, and then we'll wrap it up. Okay, this time, let's go ahead and take Oberon. Mission complete. Good teamwork, everyone. Now on to the next. Alright, so we found the stairs. Oh, I was trying to open the map. The left bumper. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish exploring the rest of this floor. This floor has been fully explored now. All right, that was pretty quick. What is optimal? It is time. I guess we'll give it a shot and see if we can find his weakness. Like I said, I think it's wind. We didn't bring Yukari, but I think we'll manage this battle anyway. Okay, I might have to take that back. I just don't want to risk having him die. Not as much healing as I was hoping for. I guess we'll give it a shot. Let's try to take this guy out. Oh, okay. Honestly, even with healing him, I wasn't sure if he was going to survive that. Okay, please don't kill someone. Okay. Ooh, didn't need that. Alright, we're good. Alright, who's next? Alright, let's get our our toughly one amethyst. Oh wait, how do you it's the button to like go to the next floor? Hello. I feel like there was a button. Oh yeah, yeah. There we go. Go to next floor. All right. So you open the map. That makes sense. By the way. Oh, I guess I wanted to mention something. I'm sure you know this, but please keep an eye on everyone's health. And if their health gets low, make sure they recover. 
As long as we work together, I know we'll be fine. I'm counting on you, leader. I think we're starting to get somewhere. All right, I feel like this is a decent point to kind of wrap it up. So let's go ahead and I'll give you guys my first impressions. So going into this, I really didn't know anything about it. Like I kind of had heard some of the impressions of the DLC or like the content from Persona 3 FES, but playing through it now, I, like I said, didn't really know what to expect, but I'm glad to see that they continue the story after the events of the base game and kind of deal with the repercussions of that rather than just kind of like starting from like a clean point or it's like, no, everything's actually good. Everyone's still here. So it's nice to see how the story progresses after that, but it's not just all the characters going back to their daily lives and trying living a ordinary life again. It's like some there's some changes, there's some stuff going on, new characters, new event happening at midnight. And so it seems like a nice balance of new story and content, but not feeling like it's mundane or anything like that. And I will say moving forward, I feel like it's probably safe to say that's probably mostly like story heavy up front and then now we might be going to a lot of dungeons and combat and just dungeon gameplay for quite a while and then having story like a little bit every once in a while but you know i think that's okay although i definitely would prefer to have i, I definitely prioritize story content over just more dungeons and stuff like that but more persona content is more persona content so can't really argue with that but looking forward to playing through it, and I'll probably... I'll, I, I feel like I'll probably play through it and complete it. I probably won't be streaming it all the time, especially if, if it is more just combat-focused moving forward. Not a, lot of, to, not a lot of commentary to add to that or anything really exciting to watch. But if I have any strong feelings about it once I complete it, then maybe I'll do my, a review, get my thoughts on the DLC as a whole. But either way, I guess we'll determine what happens that when i get to that point moving forward i'll probably be streaming final fantasy 16 when it comes to pc i think it comes out tomorrow so not much of a wait but stay tuned f figure out whatever it is i do and if you have any ideas feel free to let me know of things that i've done before that you want to see more of or just things that you'd like to see in general but either way if you've watched it until this far then thank you for watching i truly appreciate it i'll see you guys next time